Most programmers will never be great. Ever wonder why, despite all the tutorials, why are you still stuck? It's not about talent, it's a deadly mindset. Don't let this trap claim you. Let me explain. You spend hours watching tutorials. You finish one course, then jump to another. You feel like you're learning, but when it's time to build something on your own, you freeze. How many tutorials have you finished, but still feel stuck? I've been there too, watching endless tutorials with nothing to show for it. If that sounds familiar, you're not alone. This is the reality for most programmers. And the reason? It's not about how much you learn, it's about how you learn. Growth happens when you tackle challenges, even if it means risking mistakes or awkward questions. But most programmers avoid this. Let me break down why. Ever copied code from a tutorial and prayed it worked? That's passive learning, and it's killing your growth. Just watching tutorials is not real coding. You're just hitting Ctrl C on someone else's brain. Sticking to easy tasks. That's like going to the gym just to lift the two pound dumbbells. No pain, no gain. Avoiding challenges means slow progress. The awkwardness of asking dumb questions. Mm -hmm. That's the price of yeah. greatness. Instead of routine tasks, challenge yourself with projects that push your limits. Diagnose bottlenecks, refactor spaghetti code, or experiment with new tools. Yes, it'll feel uncomfortable, but that discomfort, that's your ladder out of average. But you may ask, how do I escape being average? Simple, stop being a spectator. Don't just passively follow tutorials. Use them as your lunch pad. Think about it. Have you ever watched a cooking video and felt like a chef, but then totally failed when you actually tried cooking? That's exactly what happens with programming. Learn the basics and then challenge yourself by building your own project. For instance, after learning React through a tutorial, find an inspiring UI design online and recreate it. That mix of guided learning and hands-on creation is what sets great programmers apart. Now, your first superpower, the launchpad learning rule. Pick a project first, then dive into learning what's needed to build it. Tutorials are just your springboard into the real world of coding, but you have to take the leap. In fact, here's a challenge for you. Think of a small project idea right now. It doesn't have to be perfect, and if you're struggling for ideas, here's a cheat code. Go to dribble.com, search for example like taxi apps, fitness apps, or anything else you'd love to bring to life. Got one? Good. That's your next step. And if you're thinking, but what if I fail? Good. Failure is your new best friend. Why you may ask? Because every time you fail, you're forced to break problems into smaller manageable pieces. When I tried building my first app, I failed because I tackled the whole project at once. Then I broke it down. Login screen, profile editor, settings. Suddenly, impossible became easy. Now, let's talk about your next superpower. The one that allows you to turn overwhelming projects into manageable tasks. The Lego block method. Every complex problem is just a stack of simple tasks. Most people get overwhelmed because they see a whole mountain instead of small rocks that make it up. Imagine building a notes app. First, let users type a note. Start by exploring basic text input. Next, display notes by learning how to loop through a list. Then, add deletion by filtering an array. Even features like a masonry layout, just another block. Look up React masonry layout and integrate it. While average developers see a daunting mountain, great developers see a series of small rocks to move, one at a time. And here's the best part. Every block you master makes the next one easier. And now, your third superpower, the cringe factor. Here's a brutal truth. If your code from six months ago doesn't make you cringe, you've stopped growing. And that's not an insult. It's proof that you're evolving. I remember building a feature a year ago that I once thought was genius. Looking back at my old code now, all I can say is, what was I thinking? The tangled logic and lazy naming serve as a wake-up call. But here's the thing, that cringe is your superpower. 
it means you leveled up. Average programmers cling to the comfort of their old code, afraid to confront past mistakes. Great programmers, they chase that cringe. Your challenge. Dig up an old project. If it doesn't make you want to rewrite everything, you're playing it too safe. And if it makes you cringe, congrats. That's the clearest sign of progress. So the difference between an average programmer and a great one isn't intelligence, it's mindset. If you stay in the passive learning trap, you'll never break out. But if you start applying what you learn and embrace the struggle, you'll improve 10 times faster.